and this is how it's diff this is different to one way ANOVA we have the interaction plots okay what does the interaction plot tell us let's make this big okay what do we have on the y-axis we've got the mean measurement times along the horizontal axis we have here got the levels of one of the factors being poison then the lines are for sorry uh, along here we've got the levels of the factor treatment which is a b c d and the lines here represent the levels each level of three levels of type of poison if we can ignore the lines and we just look at the endpoints this endpoint here each endpoint tells you the mean of the combination of the levels so that endpoint here which is about 0.2 tells us the mean survival time if you have treatment A and since this is a black solid line we look over here of poison 3 so this is for A3 the mean survival time is 0.2 if we look over here this will be the mean survival time if you have treatment B and you have poison 3 similarly for the blue line we do that for poison 2 so if I point up here that says that's the mean time if you have treatment D when you take poison 2 and that comes in about just under 0.7 so what we're looking for the interaction plot we're looking to see whether the relationships between the levels of each factor change over uh, the levels if we go from A, B, C we can see there's kind of a uniformity because each time um, this black line is under the blue line is under the red line like this so the relationship is very similar but when we get to D you can see now that the mean time when you take poison 2 with treatment of D becomes higher than when you take poison 1 in other words the pattern has changed and that is the interaction plot so rule of thumb is if the lines cross that, suge that suggests that there is an interaction effect like for the main plot we can get the actual values for these guys what are the mean values for these guys well the means are the if I get my mouse to work is the mean for each of these guys so the, what I'm actually plotting is the mean for each combination that mean that mean that mean and so on so here you go we can get the same thing by using the T apply command poison list this time by two factors and we want the mean so we can say if we looked at here again uh, a was a three has a mean of let's see a three is a mean of 0.21 there you go and up here this blue line that's poison 2 a level of D for treatment uh, you can see it's 0.67 if we round that up 0.67 so, so this helps you understand what this interaction plot is doing it's plotting the means of each of the combinations of the levels but these plots uh, only suggest to us whether there's differences yeah so we need to conduct a formal test to see if there are different if they're actually main effects and if they're interactions if we say there is a main effect of say treatment here it means that there is a difference in the means of treatment across poison so if we just look at the figures here for the mean of uh, treatment a is 0.3 it's much lower than b so you can see that these figures vary they are not you know this is much different to this so it suggests that it could be a difference there could be that we'll call a main effect i.e. difference in means across levels similarly if we say there is a mean effect on poison sorry main effect of poison it means that there's a difference in means across the levels of poison if we look around here these two are similar but this is very much lower than these two and that's what the picture the earlier graph is supposed to kind of gives an indication of but we have to perform a formal test to see if that's true we can do that using the AOV command so that's the measurement and these are the factors where I have included the interaction effect this is 
how you'd always start with the interaction in there. Summary, and this is what we can see. So we've got for each row a factor there of treatment, a factor of poison, and then the interaction effect denoted by this thing here. We've got three types of F values. So F values, each one is a test statistic. For treatment, that is the null hypothesis is that there is no difference across the levels of treatment i.e. it doesn't matter what kind of poison you're taking the mean of the survival time respective of what kind of treatment you're taking is the same. Do we reject the null? Yes, it's highly significant. And so what we can say from here is that there is a main effect of treatment as opposed to no main effect of treatment. Poison, same thing. The null is there is no main effect, to put it shortly, uh, which actually means that there is the null is that there is no difference across the levels of poison, i.e. it doesn't matter uh, what treatment you take, there is no difference in means for the type of poison you take on survival time. Is it significant? Yes, and so we conclude there is a main effect of poison. In other words, if we look back up here, it's saying that the means we're looking up here, they are, there is a difference. There's evidence to say that there's a difference. Likewise, for, for poison, there's a evidence that there's a difference across here. How about the interaction effect? Is there an interaction effect? Well, earlier we saw that the lines crossed, didn't we? But look, so the null hypothesis here is that there is no interaction effect, i.e. no combination effect. Is it significant? No, the p-value is bigger than 0.01 and there are no stars or anything that tells us that it's not significant. In other words, no interaction terms. So my next step of the analysis then is that I can forget about the interaction because there isn't an interaction and we can look at the pairwise comparison test between for, for the treatment and for poison to see between what levels of, uh, of the factor is there a difference just like we did for one way ANOVA. But before we do the pairwise comparisons let's look at the box plot of the residuals of the regression. If the model is good at all this is the model with the interaction then those residuals should be approximately around zero, which they are, and the variability should be the same. Here they're not, but remember because it's a balanced design this doesn't matter too much. Well, it doesn't matter at all. So I'm going to call on the... I'm going to use the 2KHSD. I'm going to look at it for treatment and poison, and I'm going to get the plots. So here we have the 95% family-wise confidence levels. This one's for differences in the levels of treatment and this one's for poison. Let's look at this one first. This is looking at the mean difference between uh, type level B of treatment minus level A of treatment. You can see that zero is not an interval so there's a difference between B and A. With the survival time of B being bigger than A since we're in the positive territory here as opposed to negative territory. Difference between C and A? No. Zero is an interval. S difference between B levels D and A? Yes. Level D bigger than level A. Difference between C and B? Yep, it's in the negative territory here. So the survival time of treatment B is less than, for, I mean, for C is less than for B. Difference between D and B? Yep. Difference between D and C? Yep. Likewise for poison. Difference between levels 1 and 2 of poison? No. Difference between 3 and 1? Yes. Difference between 3 and 2? Yes. Um, so that's about the end of the analysis. So we looked at a two-way between ANOVA analysis. We recognize it's a balanced design, so the assumptions of um, homogeneity 
uh, equal variances and normality aren't that crucial because the F test is robust to it. Then we said what we did next is we looked at the plots, interaction and main effects plots just to see if there are possible main effects and possible interaction effects. But then we noted these plots are only indicative. So we had to run a formal test and these are the F tests. So we did that with the AOV command. We found there was no interaction effect, no evidence of interaction effect, but evidence of main effects. So the final step then is to find out between what levels, but each factor between what levels, is there a difference? Once we've done that, that's the end of our analysis and we should therefore be able to report our findings. Okay, hope that's been helpful.